Let's see if we see it. Oh, a spin. Oh, Forrest Barber no. with a big spin. Rocky Moran nowhere to go. Because uh, this is the Nielsen accident. You can see what happened. And look at that terrific impact from the back there. Thank goodness. Hit head on by Andrew Davis in one of three racers group Porsches. Both drivers okay. Oberto's car came back to finish. On board now with Bruno prototype back on the lead lap teammate Jim McKaylee into the leaders big crash he's okay racers group upper left of your screen watch the upper left he's well, upper he's right already, I should say he's, he's gone now I would say that that wasn't being bumped he was just way way over his head Side of turn one, but you'll remember extra asphalt to the outside. Oh, and a big crash as they head through the S's. That's a massive wreck. It looks like it could be one of the kinetic cars, that familiar blue and green livery. Everyone takes avoiding action. Big damage there, Calvin. Full course caution. Oh, and a problem. Oh, oh my no. gosh. That was a very hard impact there as they're heading up into the left. Okay. Um, Ferrari, he stopped by the side of the road and then along came Mimo Gidley who was unsighted and whammo. That was a tremendous impact, just scary to look at and uh, obviously tore the front end off the Red Dragon machine. Here we see another look at it. He's diving to the inside of that GT machine, obviously unaware. They have a little bit more top speed to work with and clear some of this. Oh, oh big accident. accident here. One, that's one an R2. Coming out of turn one. Here's a look from the 01. Oh, he got clipped, yeah. Safron has got bumped by that prototype yeah. car. I thought I saw that before. I thought that prototype got in the side of him, turned him. Wall. There he is coming off the wall, and a fire starts back in the engine bay. The 24 on board with Byron DeFore through the tri -oval. Cut down a tire and then he loses that tire right in the trioval. Get sideways, upside down. My John. goodness me, big accident in the turn number one. There's a clip right in front of us. And there's two cars involved. It's one of the Lamborghinis. Between either running it in a professional series like the Conti series or you could run it in a club series. So there's many, many ways you can go with the Cayman GT4 club sport. How far away from being full GT4 is it? What would you, would you have to do? to make it a GT4 car? That is an excellent question that I don't know the answer to. <laughs> but you're now going to go and find yeah, out. You if bet I, don't I am. Yeah, this is sketchy. Now, we're getting a report the engine is running, but he cannot find a gear right now in that machine. Oh! oh. And yep. it was the Delta wing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. You know, I just... <laughs> Here you watch. He's trying to get it to the inside, and there's just no way he can tuck it down to the apex, and then he's not got enough time to get back to the outside of the stationary car. Well, that car, but we also had the number 70 Mazda. It was stationary on the pit lane. They had actually turned the car off and... Over the recent competition, only Ferrari no longer. Those two, are, those two now, where are they? Heading down into oh, the Oh, has got the 14 Ooh, Lexus. Oops. Just when we were talking about it, at the same place that Loic Duval went off, but... It's no. not a touch. It was just too much right foot from the... And it just looked to me as he was coming round. I just saw the Corvette behind him briefly, and I thought there might have been a tap. One right to the picture here. Too quick. Missed his turn in and then rather panicked a bit. He's cracked the front end of that lovely R8 on the barrier. Not too hard. Just needed to roll off the lock there, Jim. Ah, easy for me to say sitting up here. Mm, pretty hard hit though, wasn't it? Yeah. Caution. Let's have a look at what happened. Oh, really Everybody off the curves. really wide there. Tries to hang oh, in there already. Starts killing cones. Everyone oh. stacks up. Yeah, yeah, stacked up and... Should have just let that one go. Yeah. The gold headlight cluster for one of the cars bouncing up to the wall. He was going to come across, well, yeah. you see it right there. He's going yeah. to get him either way. Nothing he can do. Well, the 85 should have given up, like you said, yeah. Calvin. Back of the uh, picture. Oh, uh, both trying to pass. Yeah, I mean, Mike was down on the inside there, and uh, Ryan was between 
Michael and a lap car, I believe. That's a hard hit on the wall. He got pinched into the wall. The 93 trapped him there, so. Trying to dive down the inside of uh, three. Car opportunity for you and I to see what happens with the Mini, the 52 car, heading down off the banking. And the Mini's going to go straight on at turn one, way out wide, and hammer its way into the tyres. Yeah, so that was on the exit of turn two, effectively. And this is Gunnar Jeanette. It's already happened and it's pretty nasty. Yeah, down into the bus stop there, something went awry in traffic. He got turned, heavy impact with the wall and uh, destroyed the front end. Look at it at speed. Not sure if he got in the back of someone, lost his brakes possibly or... Crashes often, so you know there was contact. And this one in the trial was really, could have gotten a lot worse, really big enough. Kyle Gimple in the 198 and Terry Borchella in the 23 BMW. Mini, and I think they break apart here. He's got steering in and... He just collects Terry. Nothing he could do. Yeah, I think he was trying to get off the back of the Mini in front of him, and then suddenly they broke loose, Dulce, and he suddenly had massive steering input to the right and just clouded Terry. Had nowhere to go. His speed source Mazda. Now this is starting way early. There's Sylvain Tremblay in the black. You've got the three car behind. That's the Southern Lexus. Oh, he didn't oh. know he was there, and he turns him into the wall whoa, and shovels whoa, him over. Whoa. 